Tactics is not in the domain of planning and thinking, it's in the domain of action. Ultimately, you can talk all you want to, but uh, it, it's the action that counts. Fleet Tactics is the application of uh, knowledge and warfare to the movement of ships uh, in engagement of the enemy. So that decisions made at the carrier battle group level, individual ship level, or submarine level are considered fleet tactics. The first edition uh, came about because I had looked around and I was trying to find a book written by an American on tactics. There are all kinds of books on strategy and policy and high flute and stuff like that, but I couldn't find one written by an American since 1942. Captain Hughes is a legend, essentially, among uh, generations of naval officers. Uh, I first encountered Captain Hughes when I was a student here uh, back in 1992. He was well known and is well known through all ranks of the Navy and internationally among naval officers who've attended MPS and who's read his book. When I wrote the first book in 1986. I wrote it to be timeless. And then I realized, as many people have, that tactics change. When there's new technology, you have to fight in different ways, and the new technology has been coming along. And recently, the biggest uh, and fastest moving new influence on naval tactics and uh, in all combat is uh, information technology like unmanned systems, cybernetics, the uh, concept of distributed maritime operations. And a special niche for artificial intelligence. The structure is what's the genius behind it as far as I'm concerned. Not only is it a book that draws upon historical lessons to inform tactics today, but he does it in such a way that he identifies the constants of naval warfare throughout history. He talks about the trends, those things that have changed, uh, that have an impact on the tactical employment of, of ships. And then he talks about the variables. He takes a look at each one of those battles to find out what is important about those battles and what the variable associated with it. On the other hand, when you're talking about land warfare and air warfare, there are some uniquenesses about those that a good senior joint officer needs to get an appreciation for all those domains. And so in a way, yes, I would say senior Air Force officers and uh, mid-grade Army officers should read fleet tactics to gain an appreciation for the maritime environment. I just had a query from the German Armed Forces Staff College, which of course is more Army than Navy, uh, and they said uh, they were thinking about using the book and uh, the reason was that they were going to shift their emphasis from policy and strategy to uh, technology, tactics, and operations. I don't think I could have written the book if I hadn't had a lot of friends in, in computer science. Uh, and in the Information Sciences Department and also the Special Operations Department because they do so many different things, all of which are, uh, have an influence on tactics. The book helps expand the mind, exposes thought processes for the officers uh, so that uh, in the future, in 2030, someone who's read Fleet Tactics of today will know how to end our nation wars. Mm -hmm.